Buenas tardes, mi nombre es Leticia. Good afternoon, my name is Leticia. I'm going to be sharing with you a story of a, a lady uh, who, is, um, who is afraid to be before you today. Voy a estar uh, compartiendo una historia de una persona que tiene mucho miedo de estar aquí para compartir, pero uh, yo lo voy a hacer por ella. Good afternoon. My name is Maria, and I would like to share my testimony with you. In 2010, I received a phone call uh, from my mother telling me that my father was dying, and I dying, and I and that I will pr probably not see him again if I. probably not see him again if I decide not to go to Mexico. I saw myself between a rock and a hard place because I formed my own family here. I have two children, 10 years and seven years old. My brother and I made the real, really hard decision of leaving the country and leave, leaving our children in the hands of our partners. In, real, in reality, we never imagined that coming back will be so difficult. When we tried returning, I was detain, detain, detained by immigration and they deported me. It was very painful to be away from my children and a husband for a year. But I couldn't see my, my children, so I had to try to cross the border again to reunite with them. I'm very sad because now that we're in the process of getting immigration reform, I, I know that I'm automatically disqualified because I crossed the board after the deportation is a fel 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 felony. But what, I, but what option did I have to not commit this felony? My children were here and taking them to Mexico wasn't a really good idea really good option. I thought a lot about them reuniting with me in Mexico. But in the year I was there, I realized that the level of poverty is immense and that they have many more options to Trump here. I'm a mother who worked hard day to day and faced the fear of losing my mother without being able to see her. I believe that in the 11 million aspiring citizens, there exists that the same daily fear of receiving an emergency phone, phone call from your country of origin and seeing yourself between a rock and a hard place. Not knowing that to decide because you're risking being support. I've not my, I've told my story with the hope that it would be heard from someone who has the power to help many who are like myself and find themselves disqualified from the opportunity to fix their immigration status through this immigration reform. Thank you.